finally got the windows. You're probably thinking, wait a minute, that's it? Just uh, two windows for this entire building? Well, not really. The window situation is actually a pretty interesting story. So about a month ago, I started looking for windows for the cabin. I asked the local window company to make me an offer. The same company that has made me all the windows so far, including for the sauna. And so far I'm really satisfied with the quality they offer. So I wanted to get something similar for the cabin. Kind of dark brown-ish. But then I got the offer for it. I can't really recall how many windows I ordered, but the price was around 2500 so 2.5 grand I mean I was ready to pay that money but but I was kind of scratching my head for a couple of days so before I paid the amount my buddy called me and and he was like dude I have a window and a Duran store do you want it or will I take it to the recycle center then I was like are you high why would you ask such a stupid question? Of course, bring them to me. So here they are now. One giant ass window and also a Durant's door. So the story with these two are that they were installed on a brand new home. The home apparently sat empty for two years. Nobody was living in it. New owners came by and did not like these and decided to change them out. Most likely brand new stuff here. Even got the metal thing that goes under the window. Free stuff, I'm your man. But obviously one major malfunction here. These are white and not brown. So I had to call up the window company and change my plans a bit. Deleted a couple of the items and changed the color to white. So it would match with that stuff. So right now I have three windows and a Durant door that I'm planning on to install. One window here, another one here, dirt somewhere in that wall and I'm hoping I can fit the balcony door up there. So this episode is all about installing the windows and the door here. I should probably get help. But because I have Apparently two hands, that's all the help I need. The nails are so rusted into place that they just, they just come through the wood. One hundred year old nail. I would give it maybe like 40 more years before rusting away completely. cut it out more it's too narrow but this uh, thing is full of nails it's gonna be a nightmare to cut it maybe cut it from up here instead and there are some nails here as well though basically I'm just gonna um, ruin the chain again
should do the trick. I do need to add some kind of a uh, board here. Too little, too little. I need more. I need like two centimeters more. This is gonna be fun. Don't be a guy. What a douchebag. Come on, man. Don't be a guy. I'm pretty sure there are more here. Guess I will find it out once I hit them. Cutting this really dry, full of nuts and nails lumber is not very pleasant. So because I'm installing the window alone, I have to add something outside so the window does not fall outside. Funny story with that. Well, not so funny actually, but when I was installing my first window, on the first project that I did on the property, which was the sauna. I also installed the window alone and I did not add this stuff to the outside. I went to put the window in place and the thing immediately just fell outside. Very lucky that the glass did not hit anything and only the frame got minor scratches on it. That was kind of interesting. Why are these modern windows so goddamn heavy? Just to make sure the thing does not fall this way. The thing with windows is that you need to leave gaps everywhere so you can later add the construction foam. To make sure that the window is nicely airtight with the rest of the wall. And to level the thing, I'm gonna use these plastic things. They can even be used as spacers if you put them together like this. I need to make sure that I can actually nicely foam all these gaps shut. So I think I'm not gonna push it too outside, but I'm gonna dry the maximum amount I can. I need to use these things to, to start anchoring the window in place. So these clamps, We'll go here and then you just need to, need to turn it. So basically it kind of wages itself between these two lines. And then this can be bent into any shape you want or need. 
to anchor the window in place. These ones are meant for the bottom side. Like so. Now that I have all the clamps installed, can start the leveling process. You have to make sure that each surface of the window is nicely level. And you need to make sure that the window does not open or close by itself. If it does that, the frame is out of level. Alright, you well, first window installed. First window in the cabin, guys. This is huge. So the final thing that needs to be done here is the construction foam. I think the foam actually holds the window in place better than these clamps. I'm gonna do the foaming probably in another episode if I'm working on the outside finish. If I did the foaming right now, Maybe in a month that foam would be all eaten up by the sun. So I'm gonna leave it like this for now. Perhaps I need to do some adjustments. If that's the case, then um, yeah, it's easy. But let's move on to the next window. So I'm gonna pick this one. This is a bit uh, odd. Uh, you might ask why odd? And this window sits in this hole almost perfectly. I would just need to make the hole a bit bigger, but I kinda messed up on that part. So when I ordered this window, somehow I put the bottom part here and not there. So the window actually does not even open. And this is the amount it will open, maximum amount. I have to turn the window horizontally and place the thing here like that. Perhaps I can kind of re-engineer this window a bit. I mean, if I remove this screw here, I should be able to open this thing fully. Then remove this plastic part here, cut it shorter and place it down there. Then I could place this thing vertically and it would not look so weird. Because placing this thing here horizontally, I think that would look kind of weird. I guess this could work. So because I'm gonna cut out about 80% of this wall, then I need to stabilize the logs so that the logs would stay nicely straight and would not shift to one or the other side.
holy crap this thing almost looks like a doorway the bigger window here is actually even taller than this that's the reason i did not want to install any turn and store here because turn and stores are like two meters tall and that basically means i would need to cut this entire wall in half which is not that great of an idea so i need to cut a little canal here and then hammer in a piece of timber the goal here is to hide this thing inside the log walls and this will secure all these logs together Oh yeah, this thing should stay nicely put now. Should be pretty solid. Now I can remove this thing. Anyway, let's do the other side now. Formerly this window was designed to be fitted horizontally. Redesigning this window so I could fit it vertically. Oh yeah, I think I made the right choice. If you turn this window on horizontal position, I think it would look kind of odd. By the way, check it out. So, managed to find the original block for this log cabin. This block was not made by me and I just managed to go through it. Quite lucky, I guess. Oh yeah, thing looks great. I did make the hole slightly bigger than I should have done. I mean, the clamps just barely managed to reach but it's completely fine i just need to make the window frames out of thicker material and i have a bunch of planks that i'm eager to use here uh, okay i mean those two were pretty easy but this is gonna be a challenge definitely first things first i have to get the window here
Well, that went as well as expected. I didn't even notice before, but these windows have their original factory stickers on, which further proves that these have never been used. Managed to get brand new windows for free. Nice. I mean, if I wanted to buy something this size, this is easily 500 bucks right here. Okay, I'm pretty much finished with the prep work now. I drove their screws as best I could into the cracks. That way I don't have any holes remaining later on. So I actually want to put the bigger window dead center. I was thinking maybe I should either lean it to one side or the other. But in my opinion, I think it belongs in the center. And as this is pretty much a copy paste of that, then um, I'm just gonna plow through this with a time lapse. roadblocks here. So I kind of noticed that this wall is not straight. You can see that from here it's only like maybe four centimeters. 4.2 and from here it's 8.6. So the wall is like this. Yeah it's going like this. It's not uh, perfectly straight. It's a bit off to that side. I assume this is because this building sat here, kind of in a crooked position, seen on this image right here. So you can see that the building was in a crooked position, facing down the mountain. And the building sat like this for years, probably like 50 to 60 years. And by that time, these logs kind of readjusted to that situation. And after I reassembled this building on a straight foundation, obviously some kicks and crooks occurred. There's really nothing I can do about it. I mean, the logs are what they are. And other than hacking away with a chainsaw at each log to make them fit in a level position, there's really nothing much I can do. But it's completely fine because as I'm gonna lay the outside siding, I'm gonna try to make that nicely level. Personally, I think this bigger window fits here very nicely. Maybe I should add a window there as well. 
I don't know. I don't have any windows for that wall right now. Currently, I'm thinking no. But for now, let's uh, move on with this video. So next up, let's install a door here. I'm gonna make a solid frame out of two by fours. I think that should be fine for this spot. Doesn't need to be super strong. But right now, these two, I don't need them. So I'm gonna add some uh, four by fours as the main door frames. Uh, with that, I can also help to support the roof a bit more. Uh, close enough. Perhaps some uh, side framing as well would be useful. I don't know. Maybe. Just for the kicks, let's just add some. These things should do something useful. Anyway, next up would be the door. But that's a bit iffy situation. If you guys remember, I installed that window back on the other side. I mean, this one here. It was really hardcore getting that thing up there. The thing weighed, I don't know, like maybe 40 to 50 kilos. But the door... I'm pretty sure that thing is heavier than the window was. And getting that thing up here is probably gonna be a nightmare. First things first, I have to get it here to the cabin. Holy shit. Uh. 
I guess not so permanent. Brake cleaner is the cure for life. Now I need to get this thing up there somehow. Okay. these sewing chairs. I have to look harder. I found a spy guys. This thing is wearing a disguise. I'm pretty sure it's a Soviet chair. Freaking spies. Spies everywhere. So I got the window down there hooked up to a couple of straps. The straps go through the window frame so I think uh, they should hold fine. The straps are rated for one ton. Two of them makes two tons. The winch is rated for four tons and the roof is rated for... Hell, I don't know. So the plan is to lift it up slightly, put the Soviet chairs under it, then reset my winch system and then just repeat. Hopefully I don't drop that thing, because that is like 700 bucks right there. Okay, now what? That's an excellent question. Freaking genius. Oh, let's play some Hulk here. Well, we figured one thing out. I am no Hulk. So I need to re-support this thing and uh, reset my winch. Hmm, what to do? What to do? Don't really have anything here to put down here. This Soviet table might do the trick. Okay, spy, you're up. Maximum it will go. Have no room anymore. It's almost up here though. I think we made it. Holy cow.
we already made it up here. Don't just drop here. cow should have ordered a grain for this anyway let's get this bad boy installed and then we can continue this video finally Good morning guys. Let's check out the view from the balcony. Really nice weather today. It would be really cool if I had my ocean here. So that's probably the next project for me. Yeah, let's build an ocean here. That's pretty normal. Okay, well next up and the final missing element of this video. The main entrance door. On that front I have three options. Let's go check out my options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These lights do nothing, literally. So I have three main entrance doors, but they're gonna look the same. Huh, copy based of each other. So the story with these are that... Actually, I don't even remember. They just appeared here somehow. If I wanted to go and buy something like this, one door would put me back easily about 500 bucks. Because they're all the same, I'm gonna just pick one and try to install it. Getting them out of here is gonna be a, well, nightmare. But you don't need to see that nightmare and we can just skip. I guess this thing passed some sort of testing. Man, this door, it looked like it's uh, lightweight, but wow, I'm guessing about 80 kilos this piece alone. No? Sai tules Yeah. Yuksinda tuli tules. Mm. So we separated the door from the frame. That way it's a lot easier to just uh, level the frame and later on just add the door to it. Problem. Oh, I love problems. I mean, if we did not have any problems in life, 
then life would be pointless. So I actually knew this door frame is uh, too big for this area. I sort of want to make sure that the door is pretty level or close to it with the concrete floor. That means I have to first remove this and uh, then I think I need to remove some concrete as well. Check it out what happens to line built under pressure. Normally the stuff looks like this. That's pretty interesting. So I'm gonna cut a bit, about five centimeters into the concrete. Most likely it's just gonna try to make it flush with this wall. And later if I need to, I can just raise it up with uh, lumbering. Hopefully I will not hit any rebar here. That's probably gonna slow me down, but not stop me though. Gonna use this thing to cut some grooves in here and then later smooth it out with this thing. Next time I should probably start with this. What a douchebag. Now comes the fun part. Absolute dust storm.
Why do I always end up in situations like this? Covered by dust everywhere. Where the hell are my Estonian Mafia glasses? Here we go. Much happier now. Such an odd feeling. What? What the heck just happened? Guys, leave gaps everywhere, so you can later fill those gaps with the insulating material of your choice. If I did not leave any gap here and just put the lumber against the concrete, then that would be something called a permanent gold bridge, where outside air or gold can nicely get inside, and in winter days the temperature difference will be so huge between the outside and inside so water vapor will start to form in that spot i do hope this is the last cutting in this video <laughs> that could have gone better it's really annoying to control the chainsaw at this angle you can't really tell if it's going straight or not. By the way, this log, the one that is up here, before the renovation, that log was the bottom log of this wall. Got this interesting brownish steel going on here. Usually spruce is pretty white inside. Alright, well, this uh, frame should be enough to support this frame, which in turn will support that aircraft carrier of a door. As I won't be leaving any caps down here, I'm already gonna set the insulation material. Now, before I tighten these things up, I also need to add some kind of spacers between between the frame of the house and the frame of the door. Spacers made out of the food, completely fine for this application. You can always buy plastic spacers as well. Those are pretty convenient, but you know, they cost money. 
that's the problem. Like so. Now I can nicely tighten this thing up. With that, I guess I'm finished, guys. I accomplished everything that I wanted to accomplish for this video. Got the main door installed some amounts of windows yeah and the balcony door by the way guys i just realized something this door has these markings apparently it's not really designed to face the sun all day every day okay i did a bit of research and it turns out that this door is Designed for a hotel room. It's still an insulated door, so this should work fine Keeping the warmth inside the house nicely, but It's really not designed to face the Sun All day long. This actually works in my favor. First the door is quite deep in the building It's like one meter beyond the main wall. The Sun will rise from the other side of the building Go over the house and set there Plus I recently added this uh, roof thing here. So this will also help by blocking out the sun away from this door more. So everything kind of works in my favor here. It will still get some evening sun, but uh, I don't think that's gonna be a major issue. But it's a nice looking door though. Also the peekaboo hole is on the wrong side. Right now you can kind of check what's going inside the house. Maybe I will keep it like this. I will probably forget about it. One thing I know that is concerning for me is this uh, locking mechanism setup here. I mean, down here we got the standard lock and handle, but up here there's supposed to be some kind of electronical paneling. Yeah, I don't know if I can find these parts. Mm -hmm. But that's a problem for another day. Anyway, guys, I think we can wrap this video up now. So yeah, so the next obvious work that needs to be done here is the outside insulation and finishing. I did order the insulation, the price that I paid a lot, but I guess I can't get around that. But I still don't have the insulation, it was supposed to arrive, well, th three days ago and I don't really want to wait for it. So I'm going to do something else for next episode. And the thing I'm gonna do in next episode will be a bunch of landscaping work. Mainly focusing on the front of the building. But for now I'm signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.